Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to look at affordable, stylish, and figure flattering pieces from Venus. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been posting pictures of some really shapeless pieces that are out there in retail. Honestly, I am having a hard time finding pieces that I find flattering on me. And that is exactly why I was thrilled when Venus reached out to me to partner on another video. I have always loved the styles from Venus. Not only was Venus kind enough to sponsor this video and to send me these pieces so that I could try these on and share them with you, they also have a discount for you ladies. Over the next 72 hours, if you click on any of the links in the description box below, you will get 20% off of your entire order. For this first look, I have on five pieces from Venus, so we might as well go from head to toe and talk about each piece. The earrings that I have on, I actually picked up in my last Venus video, but I love them so much and I noticed that they're still in stock, so I wanted to mention these. I wear these all of the time. These are called the beaded drop earrings. The original price is $19. And bear in mind that I'm going to give you the original pricing, but you will get 20% off of the pieces that you pick up. These are rated 4.8 stars on the Venus website. I totally get it. These are teardrop shaped. I love the ivory beading. These match absolutely everything and especially the sweater that I have on. These have an antiqued gold finish with a little shepherd's hook. These are so lightweight that I cannot feel them in my ears. And I have crazy thick hair. You can still see these earrings. So they are a statement piece without any of the weight. The next piece that I wanna talk about is the sweater that I'm wearing. This is called the striped eyelash sweater. The original price is $49. It comes in sizes extra small through 3X. I happen to have one an extra small, and I'll tell you why in just a moment, because I don't typically wear an extra small. The fabric is 60% acrylic, 40% nylon. It does say to machine wash cold and lay flat to dry. Anytime I hear the word eyelash related to garments, I always think of it being bunny rabbit soft, and this is no exception. This is so soft and so cozy. I have narrow shoulders. So the top of the boat neckline came out a little bit too far on the size small, which reminds me, I did need to make a couple of exchanges and I have to say that Venus was prompt and sent the replacements out right away. So if you have to exchange anything, it's really not a big deal. Because of the boat neckline, I sized down and also because this is a very loose fit. Now it's meant to be, and it's part of the reason that I chose this particular sweater because honestly, I have nothing whatsoever in my vast closet that is this silhouette. Because it is a little bit of a boxy fit, I personally like to tuck a corner into the front coin pocket of the jeans that I'll talk about in just a moment. But I really love the color combination of the ivory, the top, the gray, and my favorite part is besides being fluffy and cozy, it has balloon sleeves. You ladies know that balloon sleeves have been on trend for a while now. I am still loving them. I think they're comfortable. I think they're chic. You can see there's a little bit of burgundy also in this. I love the colors. I don't usually gravitate towards stripes to be honest, but there's something about this particular stripe that I really like. This is so comfortable. I wish you could feel it through the camera. The jeans that I have on are called the Mid-Rise Skinny Jean. The regular price is $34. And I have to say, even without a discount, that is an amazing price. These jeans come in sizes two through 24. They also come in short, regular, and tall. And I love that about Venus. Not only do they have inclusive sizing numerically, but they also have inclusive sizing for the length. So I absolutely love that. Just as a point of reference, the ones that I have on are a size six short, 
And just in case you're curious, I am going to put my height, my weight, and all that in the description box below. These are rated 4.6 stars on the Venus website. Again, a very good rating, and yet again, I can totally see why. I love the high cotton content in these. These feel like those jeans that I had back in the day that felt like denim, not a legging, and I love that about them. These are 81% cotton, 18% polyester, and 1% elastine, which in my opinion gives them just the right amount of stretch so that they don't get baggy throughout the day if you have your correct size on. And one of the other things that I really like about this particular jean is it comes in 14 washes, patterns, and colors. I think that's pretty impressive, actually. You do not see that kind of variety out in retail. You might see a light wash, a medium wash, a dark wash, and a black, and maybe one color. 14 colors and washes. I love that. If you have been looking for a pair of jeans and just are not finding that color out there in retail, I highly recommend that you look on the Venus website at these because you will see a staggering number of options. These are machine wash cold and tumble dry. These are a classic five pocket fit. I want to mention that although they're calling this a mid rise, on me they come slightly above my belly button. And I mention that because there are no uniform standards for what is a mid rise or a high rise. And I have found over time that it's more important to just go by the measurement that you need. Sometimes it will be called a mid rise. With other brands, it will be called a high rise. To me, this is the perfect fit. I'm short waisted, so I can't wear something really high waisted. It would come all the way up to my bra. With that said, I do want to mention that even though I have on a six short and I am five foot four, short waisted, these are a hair long on me. So I had to put a cuff about that big in the bottom, which to be honest, I do more often than not just because I like the way it looks anyway. So if you are under five four, the short may still be a little bit long for you, but if you're five four, five five, five six, the short will probably fit you perfectly. And of course, if you are taller than that, they also have regular inseams and a tall inseam. I love that about Venus. The next thing that I want to talk about is a pair of boots, and this is going to sound super random. I want to show you how they came to me. I can barely fit into the frame, but I wanted to show you that these come in a nice boot box. And the reason that I prefer that is because off season, I store all of my shoes in their original box. I like the fact that Venus puts all of their shoes in a box rather than just a poly bag because when these are off season, I can store them nicely. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you. They also come wrapped in tissue paper, which of course I've taken apart because I've tried these on. Really nice packaging for these, but I digress. Let me talk about the boots themselves. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how gorgeous these are? These are called the Lace Detail Boots. These are in the color camel. I believe this is the only color that they come in, but honestly, camel is my jam in the fall anyway. These come in sizes six through 10. They are rated 4.2 stars on the Venus website. The shaft measures 17 inches. The heel is a three inch heel. We'll talk about these details a little bit more in just a moment. The original price of these is $69. And considering all the detail on these, I do think it's worth it. Now, do you ladies know that I give you as much detail as I possibly can in my videos? Because if you buy something based on my recommendation, I want you to be happy with it. With that said, I want to point out two things about these boots so that you can make an informed decision. These are narrow in the calf. Now for me, they fit fine, and you can adjust the lacing just a little bit to get a little bit of extra wiggle room. There is also a full zip, so these are very easy to put on. But I do want to mention that if you have a wider calf, I don't know that these would be the boot for you. I also want to point out that because of my height, not because of the boot, this boot hits me right below the kneecap. I mention that because this is not intended to be an over the knee per se boot. So if you are shorter than I am, right where your knee is going to want to bend, you're going to encounter the top of the boot. With all of that said, if you have either longer legs than I do, and many of you probably do, 
or if you're taller, this is a stunning boot. I love this lace detail so much. This speaks to my inner hippie chick. I have always loved this style. I find the heel height to be absolute perfection, and it is a nice sturdy block heel. I personally just cannot do stilettos, and this is a way to get height and fashion and still be stable. It has a nice tread on the bottom. I was walking all over my yard. I'm sure I'm inserting footage. I was even walking around in the grass in these and I wasn't sinking in the grass. This does have a little bit of, I don't even want to call it a pointed toe. It's more rounded that tapers in slightly, but even though it tapers in, I did not find this to be too narrow at the toe box. Something else that I want to point out is how pliable these are. You can see how easily I can bend these at the shaft, even with the zipper and the lacing. This is important to me because when I have a faux leather boot, I don't want it to feel stiff and plasticky. And if I did not know what these were made of, I would assume that they are leather. They have that nice of a feel. To tie this entire look together, my favorite piece from this entire video by far, look at this bag. Can you tell by the expression on my face how much I love this? I will bring this in closer to show you some details, but I want to give you the basics. This is called the Studded Round Crossbody. It is $39 regular price, but again, you would get 20% off if you go through the links in the description box. This bag literally checks every box for me. I know that sounds dramatic, but I will tell you every reason that I love this. I have been on a kick with these round bags. I personally am not into carrying a big heavy purse. I'm especially partial to a crossbody. So first and foremost, this can be worn either on the shoulder or with the detachable crossbody straps, it can also be handheld. I absolutely love the cognac color for fall and winter in particular and look at the stud detail. Now I wanna point out that this stud detail is not plastic or resin. This is metal studs, you can hear it. Another thing that I love about the bag is if you decide to carry it handheld, it has a chain handle and this detail is so on trend right now. Another trend that this bag hits is the fringe detail. So this has these fun tassels on both sides and then I'm going to turn it around to show you that, thank the Lord, it has an outside pocket. I personally have to have an outside pocket, especially with a small bag to put my keys in. So this bag was done right. I also want to point out, as I mentioned with the boots, that although this is obviously a faux leather, if I were just handed this and asked to guess, I would think it was leather. It does not have a plasticky feel to it. I went ahead and removed the crossbody strap because I wanna show you what it looks like without it because you can also carry the bag handheld with this chain, which I also think is a cute look. I wanna go back to the pocket on the back. I have a Samsung Galaxy phone, and if you wanted to put your phone in it, and you have this over your shoulder or in your hand, I just wanna show you about how it fits. This is the S21, I believe, whatever the more recent one is. And you can see that I easily fit that. Since I'm curious myself, I wanna go ahead and load up this bag with what I carry and see just how much we can fit into it. So it does have a zipper that runs about half of the circumference of this bag. And then on the inside, there is a black lining. There is a slip pocket here. I know it's a little bit hard to see with the black lining. And then it has a pretty roomy interior for a bag this size. I pulled everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis from my everyday bag, and I wanna see exactly what I can fit in here. Now, although we know that the phone fits in that back slip pocket, I wanna see how much I can fit inside. So first I'm going to put in my Galaxy phone. I have a little credit card wallet that has credit cards and cash in it. I can't go anywhere without reading glasses. Obviously I need those. I have a package of travel size tissues because if I don't have tissues with me, I always need them. I always carry something in case I get a headache, either ibuprofen or Advil, so I have a little travel size bottle for that. I have one of my favorite nail files in a little protective case. And this case is a pretty good size. That fits pretty easily. 
I have a hair tie. This is going to sound really weird. I always travel with band-aids because if I don't have a band-aid on me, someone will get cut or I will get a blister on my heel. So I always carry band-aids. We're still going, I'm still putting stuff into this bag. I also have some hand sanitizer. I always carry a pen. I always carry either lip gloss or a lipstick, not usually both, because if I touch my lips up because I wear liquid lipstick, I'll use a lip gloss. And then of course, if I leave the house, I will also need a mask. Now I do want to point out that even if I choose to carry this handheld, I will typically travel with the crossbody strap just in case I change my mind or I end up with a bunch of shopping bags. You know how that can happen. So I can even put the crossbody strap in there with everything that I showed you. Now, even though I still have room for my keys inside of the bag, I personally prefer to have my keys on the outside. So I'm going to tuck them into this outside pocket and you can see that they fit easily as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and zip this back up. You can see that the zipper works very smoothly. Now that I know that everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis easily fits in this bag and there is still a little bit of room to spare, I'm not even going to switch it back out because I think this is going to be my everyday bag. Let's look at the next piece. This next look is so up my alley. They're calling this the side lace-up sweater. It is in purple. It comes in sizes extra small through 3X, so very size inclusive. I am wearing a size small as a point of reference. It is rated 4.7 stars on the Venus website. That's a really good rating. It is machine wash cold, lay flat to dry, and 100% acrylic, although I have to say it does not feel like acrylic against my skin. I actually have an aversion to acrylic, and I was concerned about some of the pieces with the acrylic content, but for whatever reason, the acrylic in this doesn't bother me at all. The original price of this sweater is $39, and again, if you were to decide to pick up this sweater, you would get 20% off. There is so much that I love about this. I have always been partial to jewel tones. I think that jewel tones go well with my coloring as well. I love this rich, deep royal purple. It does have the ribbed knitting at the collar, which I'll talk about in just a moment, as well as on the sleeve and along the bottom. It is not per se a banded top, but it does have the ribbed detail along the hemline. And then it has this fun stitching detail I have always loved this detail. I own several pieces with this style, and as soon as I saw this one, I knew that I was going to get it. With all of that said, as I mentioned previously, I personally have narrow shoulders, and because of the combination of the narrow shoulders and my height, I found that the neckline came entirely too low for my comfort. So all I did was pull a standard white tank out of my closet and voila, it's fixed. And I actually like the contrast of the two colors, the white against the purple. You could also put another color behind it. But I just wanna point out that although it looks lovely on the model, I think that she's a good bit taller than I am. And it does look gorgeous with the decollete open, but it's not an overly revealing top at all. It's just that on my frame, this came low, and I really actually like it with the white tank top underneath. Now, before we talk about the next outfit, I do want to point out that the gold tone layered coin necklace that I have on is out of stock currently on the Venus website, but I am going to link some very similar in the description box below, because I know that this necklace is very on trend, which is probably why it's out of stock right now. They also have it in multiple lengths, so just check it out on the website when you click through on any of the links. Look at the pattern on this. This just makes me happy because it combines an animal print with a bright pop of color. They're calling this the Tiger Print Duster Set. The original price is $54, but you do get two pieces. There are so many different ways to mix and match this, and I'll show you a couple. The fabric is 51% viscose, 30% polyester, and 19% spandex. I have to say that out of all of the pieces, this fabric has such a luxe feel to it. I would expect this to sell for double the original price on this, to be honest, because you are getting the two pieces. For the care instructions, it's also fairly easy. Machine wash cold and then lay flat to dry. What I love about this duster set 
is that you can wear it together as you see it here and it makes a really fun outfit or you can wear the pieces separately because they're not connected so you have a completely separate tank top it fits beautifully it has a gorgeous shape to it nips in at the waist it has just the right amount of stretch where it's kind of holding in the tummy area a little bit with all of that said i think this is such a fun pattern animal print continues to be on trend and even though it has the black and the top that you would typically see in an animal print i think it's a fun detail to have the hot pink i show this a number of ways in the try-ons that you're no doubt watching off to the side i liked this just as much with regular denim as i did with black denim i also pulled a black motor style jacket out of my closet to try on over the tank and then i did the reverse and i pulled a white tank top out of my closet to try on with the duster. I love the fact that you can mix and match both of these pieces and get additional looks. If this were just a pullover sweater, the pattern might seem a little bit limiting, but because you can wear the duster with different tops underneath, and you can wear the tank with different jackets over top, you really could make quite a few outfits out of this. The next thing I wanna show you is another pair of boots, and I know I said I love the cognac ones, but I'm trying to decide if I love these even more. Now, just like the tall boots, they also came in a proper shoe box, so it makes it super easy to store them off season. Look at these beauties. They're calling these the lace detail booties in the color black. They were originally $44 without the discount. They come in sizes six through 10. I have on a size nine. We'll talk about that in just a moment. These are rated 4.7 stars on the Venus website, which is a really good rating. These are a faux suede. They have a soft lace trim and the heel is three and a quarter inches. This is just about at the upper end of a heel that I'm comfortable in, but it is a solid block heel, much like the boot. And I find that that makes it more comfortable. With that said, they also inherently have good arch support because of the pitch of the shoe. They do have a full side zipper, so it's very easy to get on. They have a rounded almond shaped toe. I love how jet black these are. And the first suede finish comes all the way down onto the heel. It has this pretty little bow detail. I do want to point out that on me personally, and we all have different feet, I found the toe box to be a little bit narrow. So as a precaution, and also so that I could wear socks with them, I did size up to a size nine. I just wanted to mention that because if you have wider feet, this might not be the boot for you. They have so many to choose from on the Venus website. Once I sized up to a size nine, these fit me perfectly. Now, full disclosure, when I picked these out because I loved the way they looked, I was worried about how this lace would feel against the skin, and I'm happy to report it is not stiff, it is not scratchy. You can see that I can easily fold it over, and even when this was up against my bare skin, because that's how I tried it on, it was not uncomfortable at all. One other thing that I wanna point out, and I know it's a small detail, but sometimes it's these little details that just make me happy. Each boot, not the pair, but each boot, came in its own little dust cover. So that stops the black faux suede from rubbing against itself and also protects the boot. And I love the fact that you got one for each boot so that when they're stored away for off season, they are kept pristine. Let's look at the next piece. Now in my mind, there is nothing more quintessentially fall than a fun plaid top. But this one has a little bit of a twist. This is called the plaid ring detail top the original price is $39. It comes in sizes two through 24. As a point of reference, I have on a size six, and we'll talk about the fit in just a moment. The fabric is 100% rayon. It is hand washed cold, and you can either hang it or lay it flat to dry. I want to talk about the shape of this. I love a plaid top, but I don't like it to look boxy and shapeless. In my opinion, this is the perfect mix of girly and feminine while still including that fun fall plaid pattern. There is so much that I love about this particular top. I do want to mention right out of the gate that I did pull a black tank top to put on under this because again with my narrow shoulders 
This felt entirely too low cut for me. You can see where it would hit if I didn't have something on under it, so that wasn't going to work. It has this fun ring detail, and interestingly, where it hits me, it kind of gives it an empire waist. But then the bottom of it has a peplum flare to it, which I love. This top does not have stretch, but it has a side zipper. So once you get it on, you can cinch in the waist and then have that flirty little peplum look. I love that about it. I'm very comfortable in it. I just think it's so pretty and so feminine. There is elastic at the wrist. It's not too tight. It's not stiff and scratchy. The sleeve is a little bit of a balloon sleeve. I just love the silhouette of this. I have always loved a plaid top in the fall and winter, but I have not always loved the boxy look to it. In my opinion, this is just the perfect combination of the two. One of the things that I have really grown to appreciate about Venus in particular as I've gotten older is how inclusive they are. Whether you are a size two or a 22, whether you have a short, a regular, or a long inseam, whether you are 20 or whether you are 60, there are going to be pieces that are figure flattering on the Venus website. I am going to link all of the pieces that I shared with you in this video in the description box below, but even if what I chose is not to your taste, there is a huge variety. With that said, as long as you click through any of the links in the description box below within the next 72 hours, you will get 20% off of your entire purchase. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.